Support for this podcast comes from the Florida Atlantic University College of Business, home to over 8,000 students, seven departments, six centers, and an impressive offering of interdisciplinary and professional development programs taught by the college's world-class faculty. Learn more at business.fau.edu. Hello, I'm Jen Mullins. And I'm Ryan Swano, and this is what's happening at FAU Business. The hospitality and tourism management program within FAU's College of Business is making headlines by offering a free certificate to industry workers and professionals who may be affected by the COVID-19 crisis. At this very moment, more than 5,000 people have registered from more than 80 countries. And here to tell us more about it is Program Director, Dr. Peter Ricci. Before we get started, the URL to find out more info about the Hospitality and Tourism Management Program at FAU Business is business.fau.edu slash hospitality. And the link to the free certificate course can be found in the show notes of this episode. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy our interview with Dr. Peter Ricci. Hi, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi. Why did you decide to offer the certificate and what's been the reaction since you've done that? Well, it's been a crazy roller coaster ride for me. And initially, when we didn't know how strong this was going to be, I knew it would have some impact on hospitality. And I started worrying about our students and our employers that recruit. And then it got more severe almost overnight. And I, I had these flashbacks to my career. Uh, when I first graduated undergrad, it was the financial stock market crash of the late 80s. Then I immediately went back to school to do a master's because there weren't enough jobs going around. And then when I graduated with my master's was the Persian Gulf crisis and the airlines and the hotels got hit again. Uh, and it's just, these cycles come, we've never had one like this that affected every segment. And that was just sticking out in my head. When, when 9-11 occurred, immediately all air travel stopped, but people were still eating in restaurants. They were still bonding to feel safe with their family. Car rentals were exploding because everybody started to travel by rail or car. In this case, every possible hospitality segment stopped immediately, overnight. And it, it's affecting individuals worldwide in the hospitality and tourism business from the person who started yesterday, that's a server, all the way up to the CEO. There's been layoffs, stoppage across the board. So our business is, is cyclical. And when you get laid off or furloughed or your hours cut, the first thing you do in a lot of cases is go home, you're angry, you're cranky, and then you say, okay, I'm never going to work in hospitality again. I should have been an accountant. I should have been a pharmacist. And you have these thoughts and you're hearing it from your friends and everybody starts griping. And that's what's that in my head. I want to do a certificate in the short run. We're all home for at least two to four weeks, it seems. And we could do three weeks of content. We have a long-term hospitality and tourism management certificate that we do through the Florida Atlantic University College of Business Executive Education Area. That certificate usually has about 50 to 70 people. It's all day face-to-face on Saturdays, lots of interaction, lots of engagement. And I thought, well, let's try that on an, in an online version. And we'll have people talk with questions. We'll do it in a chat room, something like that. And we can help 100, 150 people. Well, I was shocked instantly because the flyer I put together, I did a test email and it got spread around. And within a day, I had five or 700 requests. It's been out now about four or five days. And we now have over 5,000 people registered from 83 different countries. And it keeps expanding. So everybody in this business is either out of work, had their hours cut, or um, is just home, you know, thinking about what their life is going to be next. So because of my own experience with 9-11, you know, the 2008 recession, I was laid off from hotel general manager jobs. I, you know, every, we've all gone through it in this business. And so my own personal feeling is why I started it, but I I never thought we'd get to where we are. It's a little scary, (laughs) fun scary. 
It's quite amazing how it's taken off in the last few days. It, it's it's unbelievable. And the number of registrants keep coming. I, I had to turn off the volume on my email to chat with you because it's ding, ding, ding. It's just incredible. <laughs> and countries, you know, that I've never visited. Now I have a friend and uh, they have somebody to talk to who's feeling their pain. It, it's just been an, an incredible journey so far. Oh, that's great. So, Peter, how how specifically do you see the certificate helping those who are, you know, furloughed, laid off, have had their hours cut, or maybe people who are still working and just want to improve their their skills uh, sure. while they're still working? Absolutely. We've even had some people from outside hospitality who have been thinking about hospitality for years say, hey, this is a taste of hospitality. I'm going to try it. So, it'll assist everyone in a unique way. There are very few hospitality and tourism programs in the United States that are housed in business schools. Most of them are freestanding. They're a little bit more vocational than business focused. And so we've always prided ourselves on touching the most important points of the hospitality business when we teach certificates. And those are the areas of marketing and revenue management, hospitality law, get excellence in guest service, doing better than your competition, finance, definitely understanding how that impacts you. And also just a session on this, the knowledge, skills, and abilities that you need and how do you develop those competencies. So we already had a well-received, well-regarded certificate that touched all those five areas. It's almost like a taste it's like a miniature taste of what we would offer in a bachelor's or an MBA degree. So we already had that. So I think it will assist a lot of people because most people don't have a bachelor's in business administration. They they may not have even taken a finance class along the way. So it, it'll really help in a variety of ways. But the main reason it'll help is it'll, it'll stop you from dealing with the crisis for a few hours a day when you log in and focus instead on what your love is, hospitality. And then you can take those skills back as soon as we get back on track. So it'll mentally help you. It'll content help you. And, if you know, everyone needs to realize we're putting this together in a week and a half. We're shrinking our typical certificate. And it's just going to be a taste. But hopefully it'll be a yummy taste. That's, that's what I like to call it, a yummy taste. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. What is it that you suggest these participants do post-certificate? Well, I'd encourage everyone who enrolls to make sure they complete all the quizzes and pass them so that they actually do get a certificate. Um, Again, we normally send you a beautiful bound certificate. We can't do that for 5,000 plus. We're going to send you an FAU electronic email certificate of some type that is valid, is accredited, and comes from our program so that you can put it on your resume and go back out to world, into the world. So post-certificate, you know, I want you to stay focused, continue ongoing education. If this winds up persisting three, six, 12 months, don't give up on our industry. We've been through so many crises over the past hundred years that affect our industry, yet we always come back. We always do. And we will. Because right now, if you ask your friends that you, you, you all, both of you are probably doing it every day. Everybody wants to go out and have a meal. Everybody wants to get the kids out of the house and go away for a weekend, go to Disney, do something. So post certificate, you know, feel more confident that we will bounce back. Find out which areas we touch on in the certificate that interest you and then continue some education over the next six months in that area. And I think you'll come back a little refreshed. You know, I'm trying to stay focused myself. We all are trying to take a walk every day, doing social distancing, but staying engaged by by video, by phone, whatever it takes. So post certificate, just think how happy people are going to be when things let them out of the house even just to go to for a meal at the Applebee's or Ale House or any right. place in your neighborhood. <laughs> so, um, you know, I love Starbucks. I love to go and have my Starbucks and work there all day. The part I'm missing right now is I can't sit at a table and work. So I have the enjoyment of my drink. I'm very proud of the company for staying open and allowing their employees to serve us, but I'm not getting the same social experience. So the pent up demand, I want people who take the certificate not just to run back to work and get buried again, 
but think about what they got out of it and what areas they want to continue their learning in. And plus, put it on your resume. It's going to look good. Peter, do we have any idea about how long it'll take for the industry to bounce back? Yeah, um, as far as the industry itself, this one, like I said, is the first one in um, a, the lifetime of probably everyone who's working in the business that affects right. across every segment. And that is different. I mean, that that is very different. Uh, and that's going to take longer. You know, it, it t- hospitality is the first to get the hit when we go into a decline. And it's the last to come out super strong. But it'll get us back to work. But there will be fewer conferences because many already canceled. It's going to take a year to reschedule. You know, people who missed a cruise this year might just put it off for next year. So industry will rebound. It always has, but it's, it's going to take a while. The, the promising thing I look at once a day, and anyone can Google this is if they would like to, just Google international visitor arrivals 1950 to, 20, uh, to 2020. International visitor arrivals 1950 to 2020. You'll find a graphic that comes up from the World Travel Council or the World Tourism Organization. I, I forget exactly who put it together. But even when 9-11, the 2008 recession, the tsunami in Indonesia, the Persian Gulf War, those only appear as a tiny, tiny blip on the graphic. The trend upward is there. Every generation wants to travel more and that we will rebound. It's just we're in the midst of that blip. So it seems like the sky is falling. So that, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of my optimism. I pull that graphic out once a day. I look at it and I'm like, okay, we'll be out of this eventually. How can the FAU Hospitality and Tourism Management Program help in the future? Well, in the future, it seems I've made 5,000 new contacts of friends. Everybody is so warm and <laughs> gracious. I mean, I, I, the emails and the personal pleas of, of help or the, the warmth and thank you is just incredible. I mean, it's just people are dying for some interaction. And we, and those of us in hospitality, we're gregarious. We want to be with people. We want to be helping others. And we're lost right now. We're kind of like, hey, help. So I think in the long run, if they get a taste of something they'll li- they like, we can help them do a regular certificate that's longer, more content, more thorough. They can study with us from one of these 83 countries online very easily because I'm talking to both of you. We're not even in the same room and we're just as social. So I'm hoping we can help them for their whole career. And many of them already have a bachelor's degree, um, a master's degree. We have some attorneys. Uh, We have an MBA with a hospitality specialization. Maybe somebody will come into that. My favorite um, response thus far are some of the high schools where the teachers are teaching hospitality programs across the United States, and they want their students to take this as a taste before they go to college. So hopefully some of those students, they'll go to college all over the world, but hopefully some of them come here to FAU and we can help them. And they'll at least get to know us this way virtually, and they'll feel more comfortable. So I I thought those teachers were amazing. I commend them. Several of them have reached out from all different states in the U.S. to say, hey, I teach hospitality right now. My students are already home. This will be a taste of college. Can they take it? And I had to think for a minute and say, okay, why not? You know, just uh, take it, enjoy it, and pass your quiz. Even better, this way they'll know if hospitality is in their blood for later. So I think there's a lot of ways our program can help. And I want to remind everybody that our website is business.fau.edu slash hospitality, business.fau.edu forward slash hospitality. And uh, my contact info is there and feel free to email me. Peter, thanks again so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, This has been great. And it's uh, actually calmed me and that stopped the dinging in my email for a few minutes. But uh, anyone (laughs) listening, anyone listening, please register. We want to help as many people as we can. And I actually look forward to meeting at least 90% of you in person sometime in my life. Thank you all. What's Happening at FAU Business is part of the FAU College of Business podcast network. Learn more at business.fau.edu slash podcasts.